I think I think everybody's here. Uh, Mr. Medicare, how are you doing, sir? Uh, good. How are you doing? Pretty good, man. I, I enjoyed your video earlier. I did. I had to. So I missed about fifteen minutes of it because I was skipping around. Um, because I had to do this show and prepare for it. Uh, but I really did enjoy it. What made you decide to go so long with it? Uh, there's just a lot of shit to cover. I really wanted to get to the Gandit stuff too at the end. Yeah, I thought, uh, you know, it's it's surprising how many people really don't know what happened with all that. I mean, I followed it when it happened, but there's a lot of people that really didn't realize it. Uh, it was a six-hour stream, too, so, I mean, that was a lot to break down. Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, Harmful Opinions got fucked. Um, he got fucked really hard by uh, a community uh, that should have not let that happen uh, based on what they advocate. Uh, he, he got, you know, thrown to the fucking wolves, and... Um, the the amount of evidence that was kind of out there about uh, the candid shit was pretty in your face. I mean, he was getting information from somebody that was signed into a contract with him, so he was getting an inside source, and um, they they told him shit. Other people confirmed shit, uh, conversations with the CEO and other stuff like that. But I mean, imagine how much of a mind fuck that is to have a fucking corporation uh, basically paying people to fuck with you, uh, talking to your family members, tracking them down, and talking to them on social media. Um, and, you know, and then mysteriously, after you do all these videos talking about this, uh, your account gets hacked, all your shit gets deleted, uh, but there's no definitive proof of what's going on. I wanted yeah. to ask you about that. Was there anybody else involved with Candid that was paid to do those things, or were they uh, were they approached to do that? Uh, well, it, it, the thing is, they're all really sheepish about talking about it. Like, uh, mm -hmm. from, from what I remember, the people that did advertisements, and I'm, I'm not saying these were all involved in fucking with uh, harmful opinions, but these were the people that got money, uh, were TJ Kirk, uh, yeah. Black Pigeon Speaks, Chew on Head, um, a, a Bearing, uh, I think Undoomed, and like uh, two or three others. But uh, TJ was like one of the bigger ones. I think he got like a, was it 20 grand or something like that to do it? Right. Um, and then some of the, the smaller channels, compared to TJ at least. They're uh, contractually got, obligated not to talk about that's it. That's true. They had non-disclosure agreements. And yeah, yeah, but here, here's the thing. Agreement. I mean, even Matt brought up when I talked to him on his stream about this, you know, talking about discreet.com, uh, that the company's defunct. It doesn't exist anymore. So there shouldn't be any contract to be held over you if the entity that you sign it with is no longer functional. Mm, that's iffy, I think. Because I, uh, who who is the contract between? Is it between them and the corporation, or is it between them and? But see, the thing the about the contract is, though, it should already be up now anyway, in terms of like the period. So Matt talked about this publicly, and he said, "Oh, I'll be able to talk about Canada on so and so date. That date's already passed. The reason they don't talk about it is because it makes them look like shit." It yeah, does. what do they have to gain by talking about? Yeah, it? Yeah, that's why they mm -hmm. don't. Well, I mean, you would think. I mean, the whole thing was a complete, you know. Yeah, but like I, like I said in the video, I, the most ironic part of this is I've heard now for the last two years, uh, specifically from you know this kind of side of YouTube, oh, the adpocalypse is fucking us. Oh, right. free speech is getting fucked. Oh, we're getting censored left and right. You built the algorithm. You suckered in a bunch of people to go to your anonymous-like application. The fucking AI learned how people talk, the shit they said, the way they interacted, so it could pick up on shit. So when it was sold or used or broken up and sent to different fucking companies, they knew what to look for. And then what do you know? You know, miraculously, after Candid goes under and this AI bot is developed, everybody's getting fucked on YouTube. Everybody's getting fucked on Twitter. Everybody's getting fucked on Facebook. That's really the ironic part. They made the super weapon that they're using against us now on YouTube and whatever <laughs> other platforms are on. <laughs> I mean, who, who knows? I mean, Twitter could be using it. I mean, I mean the the extent at which this like we we don't know because they're so secretive about what algorithm uh, what algorithms they use, and we never find out about this stuff until after the fact, and they've already screwed us. So you know, I'm wanting to know you know who's developing this code now because they didn't just throw that stuff away. Oh, there's no what way if, after that much money and time was no. poured it. It. And there's no way. I mean, they, they they must have paid out a couple hundred grand just on the shitty little viral marketing uh, with YouTubers and then, you know, their their normal advertising campaign. So I guarantee it has, the, a, it, has, it has a patent, doesn't it? Is, yeah, Uber that was bought out no, Candid, yeah, basically. Yeah, and then the CEO of Candid now works for Amazon. Well, if it has a patent, you can track that patent and who owns the patent. But the real, you know, goal of the whole platform was not to create 
you know, the platform itself or, you know. Let's no, know that's the cool. best part. Well, it, they it was, they it, stated that that's what it was for. Yeah, yeah it was the bait and switch. It was the sucker idiots in to basically develop their little bot. It, they never had any intention of that application existing. Just, by the way, Jim, who were these idiots that got suckered in? Who were they? Are we talking about the people that were the, the marketers for it or are we talking about the user base? The user base were the suckers that watched the videos and thought, geez, this the doesn't seem hot. This doesn't seem out of the fucking uh, ordinary. I already mentioned the marketers that people yeah. again, like Black Pigeon Speaks, Shoe on Head, um, I, I think Undoomed. I can't remember 100. percent TJ Kirk. You say skeptics. TJ oh, Kirk you, is 100. You could yes, you could very well say skeptics. Yeah. So the, let me they ask weren't you, skeptical about this at all. Let me ask you, Jim. What what if they'd come to you and said, "Here's 50 grand. We we want you to." I, I've had this. companies. I've had companies come to me and offer me money, and I, I've always told them. I've told them three things. I've told them no because I, I don't do that. Uh, I told them you're an idiot for wanting to associate any brand with me in the first place. <laughs> <laughs> and, and I told them, you know, if you continue to send me offers for you know monetary compensation to promote your product, I will promote your product for free. And I will tie it to the most hardcore neo-Nazi white nationalist shit that I can. <laughs> Coca-Cola. <laughs> uh, right. That usually that that usually works. I had one company um, uh, offer like six grand to promote some kind of mobile streaming service. Uh, the guy, I mean, the guy was nice. I don't think it was anything underhanded, but I was like, yeah, I don't do this kind of thing. And he's like, all right, whatever. So l let me ask you about the principle in general. Uh, these people, um, and, and I guess the problem is for me, if somebody comes to you and they want you to promote a product, say the product's good and you, and you literally think it's going to be great for your audience or whatever, I don't really have a problem with you. Um, oh, I don't have a problem with sponsorships either. It's not something if, I if do. It's, if it's good, but but if you look at this program, and especially you know Harmful Opinions is the guy that outed all this, this was a, a, a negative program from the start, and it seems like these people didn't do research beyond – did the check clear? Well, I mean, you know I mean? yeah. Let's let's be honest. I mean, you're you're. This was a while ago too. So I mean, their channels True. are starting to grow. They got some company shows up and says, "Hey, you're important. Let's give you. We're going to give you a fuck ton of money, and all you got to do is like one or two videos saying how awesome this is." They probably thought that was a gift from heaven. It was like fucking manna from the sky, right? Like God's reached down to feed and uh, clothe us. <laughs> how amazing is this? So I think Baby they were blinded bird by needs it. food. I wish I could find that picture. By the way. <laughs> <laughs> They they know. could have easily they could have used Twitter's API to do all this and basically use that as a sandbox. But the thing about doing that is you wouldn't be able to raise money from angel investors, and you wouldn't be able to control the atmosphere as much as they did. Well, and, and that's Silicon, all it was was a sandbox. Yeah, and Silicon Valley. I mean, these, these people, these companies are so fucking incestuous anyway. I mean, uh, the CEO of uh, what's the woman's name that's at the head of YouTube right now? Um, oh, geez, I don't know. Woja Hickey or whatever. Oh, right, right. Her fucking yeah. sister runs 23 and me. Like all these different companies know each other, they interact with each other. It's just I don't I you know, I don't I don't trust any of this shit anymore at this point. It's like you you hear these fucking CEOs and these uh uh these idea guys bouncing from one company to the next, you know, shitting out the next fucking Orwellian hellscape uh, idea that they can come up with to make everybody fucking miserable. Trump's got to put out some kind of executive order on this shit because it's it's getting really out of hand. I mean, these people are just like way too damn big, and they, and they have way too much reach, way too much influence. You know, I, I just I can't see how this can go on much longer because you have people like Lacey Green and, and like people on her level that that are getting banned or or flagged or whatever. You know, and a lot of people who are they they're expressing really milk toast opinions. I mean, if it's getting to that point, I think we're already beyond the point where we need to have some kind of legislation. You know, it's, these people can't run unregulated forever. Yeah. What do you think about that? I don't think I've actually got to query you on that uh, directly. Um, my opinion is and I used to be more, you know, whatever private companies do what you want. But these are not just private companies. It's like the phone company saying you can't make calls on our service anymore. Um, that that's how big Facebook and Twitter and even Snapchat, Instagram, all these services are. Do you think that there should be laws enacted to where they can only throw you off for certain criteria, such as you know criminal activity? Yeah, I mean, how how weird does that sound though? It, it, it's a really bizarre fucking topic to try to discuss. I mean, do you want them sure. to be a public utility? Do you want the government to come in and try to regulate it? I, it? It's weird to me to think that the government would put into place a regulation that says you can't ban me for shit posting. 
Um, that's, <laughs> I don't think that's, that's going to happen. There's this, <laughs> like Paul, Paul Nealon was pushing the whole uh, do not censor or whatever thing. I'm just like that, that thing's a fantasy because you put this up in front of Congress. You know, it's it, you, there's only two ways that it can fall because you have the Democrats who also want to let it's not like Democrats don't want to legislate the Internet. They absolutely do. But they're absolutely well, in the opposite their grub, way. They're, yeah, yeah, they're they going like to get their the grubby regular. hands in on, on yeah. it just like the Republicans. And I, I guarantee you, like the anti-Semitism and, and stuff like that, like no Republican is going to stand up and be like, oh yeah, anti-Semitism on the internet is acceptable. Even if they're like so-called free speech advocates. You know, I, I mean, you, you know, if Trump wanted to, he could try to take the same approach that they did in the 90s with Gates, you know, when it came to Microsoft. I've talked about this before, where uh, Reno was basically fucking Bill Gates every day for a million dollars because they were holding in, con or in contempt over the fact that, uh, you know, PCs were shipping with the um, uh, not just the operating system, but the browser as well and saying that's unfair, you know, uh, to to other browsers, other operating systems. Uh, Bill Gates, of course, didn't give a shit. You'd have to have a bigger financial hammer to head companies with. But you look at a Google that puts out not just a, a notebook now made by them or a ThinkPad or whatever the fuck they call it, a Chromebook. Uh, it's got their operating system on their hardware with their browser and their search engine, and they run the biggest websites that exist. I mean, the, the Internet has shrunk uh, less and less companies own larger and larger portions of it. I, I don't know what the fucking solution By the is. Way, let me ask you this. Did you see the story today? And this was going to be one of my topics. Of course, you know, the show mainly turned into, a, you know, let's laugh at nothing wrong with that, of course. <laughs> let's laugh at Monday Matt show. Uh, and I don't, I don't oppose that. But uh, one of the stories I was, I was originally going to talk about was uh, AP exclusive Associated Press. Google tracks your movements, like it or not. Uh, Google wants to know where you go so badly that it records your movements even when you tell it explicitly not to. AP right. investigation found that many Google services on Android devices and iPhones store your location data even when you've used a privacy setting that says it will prevent Google from doing so. Dude, I can tell you firsthand, I, I've I've sat in my office and I had a notification come up on my phone. And this is this is a few months back. But I had I had a notification come up from Google and it, and it says, do you want to save this place as, as your your workplace? Because they're they're able to basically yeah, say yeah. You, you come you come here between nine and five or whatever. And, you, you know, you're around this location for this part of the day. So that must be your work spot. And then you come here at night. So that's your home. And, and then they can like track your route. And, st and I was so, just like, so I was creeped out, is, man. The, yeah, the thing is, out. they make it sound like, oh, you just turn off location, or you turn off, you know, the option that lets the the. App no, that was all location. revealed with Snowden. But that, but, Snowden but that, blew that it, shit it's wide not open. just that. There, there's a whole separate option called web and act, app activity that also monitors your location, and they don't make that clear. And you have yeah. to go through and and all, you know. You know, well, of, 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 of course they don't make it clear. I mean, it's not beneficial to them. I and mean, it's a race between who can fuck you the hardest. I mean, it's not just companies uh, that sure. are doing it. The government does it. Applebaum gave plenty of speeches where he talked and he warned people for fucking years at conventions when he'd go to them saying they're fucking with your hardware. They've got all this crazy shit. They're putting hardware backdoors into your fucking computers. They're fucking with the uh, the uh, HDMI cables and everything else. They're doing shit you wouldn't believe they can do. Here are the schematics. Here's where it's coming from. Here's fucking using it. All your software has backdoors. All your hardware has backdoors. You remember when past the tipping point? Yeah. Remember it, when everybody was talking about the trusted platform modules and everybody on the internet was fighting against that? And then all of a sudden, it was like the next day, everybody just stopped talking about it. Yeah. Like the only way you're going to be safe, and, and you know, this should be obvious, but like the, the, the old flip phone brick. You know, that's really yeah, the only way to abstain I, I, from any kind of tracking. Is that what you think the future yeah, is going to be? No, but that's what I'm saying. I, I, <laughs> agree, with, I, I yeah. agree with you that if you just use burner phones, I mean, of course, you're going to have more protection. But I want to come with a fucking string. But you can't really participate in, in the no, uh, yeah, in no, society with that. I mean, right. like, you can't really be on. Well, no, Ralph, that's not true. To go with your flip phone, right? Get rid of your hot phone. Get a fucking old fashioned one. <laughs> We need to start buying up in bulk and prepare ahead of time. Buy all the e-machines that fucking are sitting in uh, dumpsters <laughs> that were mass produced for fucking Walmart. So just buy those fuckers up and use them for our internet business. So yeah. let me ask you, Jim. You made a video, and I believe it was 2015. Wow. 
Um, it's it's been a minute, but you made a video, and I think it had to do with eight chan and four chan, the the you know the actual topic of the video. But but you went further than that, and I forget the title of it, but it's pretty much the end of the the free internet. Um, Are you and, you're talking about the the wake up one? Yeah, I did a video yeah. talking about what I what I thought was going to happen. I mean, it's it's yeah. old news at this point, but. But I, it's the, it's the, very prescient when you when you look at what's happening. As, yeah, as but the thing is, like, if you go look at the comments on those fucking things, I, I love putting videos like that up because I get so much shit when I put them up. Uh, one smug little fuck was like, "You don't know what you're talking about. That's <laughs> never gonna happen. I'm gonna do I'm gonna do a response and show you how stupid you are. Haven't heard from that fucker in three years. Wait for that fucker." <laughs> Same with uh, the Twitter censorship thing, where I was talking about uh, throttling and shadow banning. People are like, oh, that's not real. And then two days later, fucking Twitter puts up a blog post saying, yeah, we do that. We, they, we te actually do they telegraph this info to us all the time. It, you know, it's not like these ideas just came out of thin air, you know? Uh, well, they're, they're out there. L let me ask you, Jim, where do you think it's headed, though? I mean, I, you pretty much already stated it in, in 2015. Yeah, I, yeah I every think... time I talk about this, people give me shit. Oh, it's a black pill. No, it's the fucking reality. It's true. Amazing. You know, yeah. it, I'm not saying you can't fight against it. I'm just saying this is where it's going. This is probably what it's going to look like. Be prepared for it. If you're going to give into it, fine. If you're going to fight it, fine. But the reality of the situation is our hardware and our software is riddled with backdoors. Governments and corporations will fuck you over. You are a piece of data, and that's what's valuable. The more control they have over you, the better that it is for them. If you think yeah. you have freedom like you used to have before the internet and before technology you're deluding yourself and if you think it's going to stop here and this is as far as they're going to take it no. you are deluding yourself yeah and i'm not happy about having to go before the feet of the government and say oh you know save us from these please evil save us yes. cor corporate <laughs> sensors the they can't even keep the bridges because it could be you the other I mean? way like, around the easily. infrastructure itself is crumbling across our nation they right. can't even pass the most basic of legislation. No, uh, let's no. be honest. It 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 seems like it's a it's a large stretch to think that they're actually going to pass something like what we're talking about. That doesn't mean you shouldn't talk. You know, advocate it, but um, the, the likelihood of it happening, it's it's slim. I see Review Tech the, I think USA. The, wait, I think Review the Tech best USA. We can hope for oh, wait, is, let me read this. Re yeah, yeah. Review Tech USA in the chat. He says, "I like you guys. Thank you. I hope you don't get flagged." Uh, for saying that in chat, but yeah, I appreciate it. Yeah, go ahead, Goose. I, I, I think the best we can hope for at this point is like Trump coming in and, and breaking these people apart and at least financially punishing them somehow. Like there has to be some kind of like thing we, we there has to be something we could do to their bottom uh, line. I, I really thought Trump was going to use the end. Uh, what was the uh, Saudi prince that had a 4% stake, the majority stake? In oh, uh, oh, God damn. What is his name? Uh, he owned part of Fox as well right well um, when he the government the saudi arabian government like uh, we're gonna try to try him as a traitor and i thought trump was gonna say something like oh my god this this guy owns a large majority in an american company and he's been found mohammed to be mohammed yeah. bin salman no, yeah. No, yeah no it's yeah. it's um his name is alawid bin talal there we go just that's, roll that's that into the 9-11 lawsuit and just yeah. say like this is in revenge for 9-11 so we're he, taking he, your stake away well, uh, he, no what, he, what i thought he was going to do with that was say um you know he he he's being accused of some uh, heinous shit or they're they're trying to paint him as doing something illegal in his own country he owns a majority of twitter we need to investigate to see if uh he's trying any anti-american stuff uh, behind the scenes with the company Wait, just wasn't the that guy in the door executed? like he was like no, so I'll, I'll tell you what happened. I followed it pretty closely. It was mm -hmm. during my vacation. They, um, so uh, uh, MBS, what's whatever his name is, uh, Mohammed bin uh, Salman, he's pretty much the guy who's running Saudi Arabia now. His dad's nominally the king, but the crown prince, MBS, is the guy who's running the country. And uh, one of his things was any royal family member, they have a very large, you know, royal family, and, and mm -hmm. a lot of them are are very wealthy. And uh, so if you weren't totally on board, they they took them and nominally imprisoned them. Now, say prison because they were held in a luxury hotel uh, in Saudi Arabia. House arrest. And, yeah, basically. And, uh, you know, they pretty much all came around and said, yeah, we support the regime and, and this and that. Um, and they, they kind of neutered them in that way. So it was um, a shit check, basically. Yeah, basically. It's like, look, we can take you out if we want. But right. yeah, that, that's that's what happened there. Yeah, I mean, he had a—he really did have an opportunity. He could have said, "Look, we've got foreign actors that are uh, putting into place uh, 
policies that are anti-American. Because when you look at uh, Twitter, they were fucking with algorithms and they were fucking with uh, certain political parties uh, for their for their benefit. And if you could have tied that to that guy, I think that would have been a foot in the door to at least deal with one company. I, I don't know about the others. You know, Zuckerberg's a fucking robot. And uh, what is that? What else does that leave? YouTube. Well, that that is a good angle because you have um, like within that neutrality stuff, you have um, China and the EU pushing their policies on these these social media platforms, and it, it affects us here, which I think is wrong. You know, it should be the other way around. But um, yeah, if they want to censor the platform in their own country, whatever. That's you know, I don't think you should, but you know, whatever. But in America, you know, we should at least be able to run our own platforms how we want inside our own borders you know so i think that would be a good angle of attack if Trump you were... you better watch yourself or a mom take your account away yeah uh, <laughs> review tech review tech usa in the regular chat says your stream has substance and to be honest i realized how entertaining your show is through the monday matt debacle uh that thing, <laughs> has, that thing has reached far and wide hasn't it uh it'll come around eventually yeah, it's it's. Uh, let me read these real quick uh, to be generous to the super chatters. I appreciate their support. Adriana twenty two says, "Now we know what that Matt thinks of Jim. Excuse me. Now we know that Matt thinks of Jim while he's prepping the bull and crying. Um, what did you think about he he called you uh, Mister Mister Medicare? What what did you think about that, Jim? I think that works for me. I mean, uh, <laughs> Medi- Medicare was supposed to be uh, it was because some foreigner couldn't spell or pronounce uh, mediocre, so he came up with Medicare. So whatever. I mean, it's supposed to be a mispronunciation anyway. <laughs> but I guess the whole thing is, um, I mean, Matt's actually funnier when he just speaks off the cuff and just says what he thinks, and then he would never say that in public. That was through a Discord. I no, posted he- a screenshot of his social blade earlier with his subscriber count. And somebody replied to me this uh, with like a Thanos meme. And they're like, I don't feel so good, Mr. Medicare. <laughs> uh, somebody said Worski just tweeted about uh, about the situation. He's talk- been like radio oh, silent for like a month, hasn't he? Um, let me see what he says be- before I respond. Because uh, actually, let me see. He says, um, I <laughs> s- he says, I guess I could bring this up on the screen. He says, I've been sitting here with my flaccid dick in my hand waiting for an apology Monday, Matt. I have special requirements for this apology. I want it in video form, and I want you to cry twice as hard as when you got that silver play button. <laughs> um, nice. I actually talked to Andy a little bit last night. I won't go into it all, but uh, <laughs> uh, he, he he did see what was going on. I, I, I'll put it that way. R- Riketa Law in the Super Chat says, NDA ends when company ends unless successor company uh, I guess exists social media exchanges liability immunity for neutral content delivery law written in 1996 ripe for a challenge. Yeah, all, all the laws that govern the internet pretty much were written in the 90s or even before. Some of these laws go back to you know like wire exchanges in the fucking you know 30s and 40s. Uh, but I guess God, the, how how fucked up is that that the e-commerce laws are that old? It's I, that I, bad. Yeah. Even the uh, the laws about like plat- platforms being responsible for their content, I think that was in the 90s too. It was like the Communications Act or something. Yeah, uh, there was like a clause in there about you know indecent content, and and that that was way before social media was even a, a term. You know, so yeah, the law is absolutely way behind on this. Which you know you might see that as a good thing or a bad thing. I don't know it. it it was probably a good thing maybe in 2007, but it's become progressively worse. By the way, uh, Fistable Frodo DM'd me the list of uh, the cert, the Rule 34 searches that Mundane Matt performed in his chat. Yeah, I saw that. We, we we read them on air earlier, but well, I, I'm not sure. I th- is I he putting something cool. together? Well, uh, what? Is- we've got more. We've got no, more. Wait, he, uh, wait, there's more? Why is he doing yeah, that? He, he looked for Rule 34 of Bernie Sanders. Rule 34 of Alex Jones and InfoWars. <laughs> he looked up Rule 34 for Logan Paul in Australia. There's a war on for your ass. <laughs> There's a war for your ass. And the inter- interdimensional global demons are coming for your ass. Rule 34 of YouTube. Of course, we saw all the other, saw the other three. What do you and think? Then, uh, go ahead, finish your, finish your thought. Rule 34 of Stephen Hawking. Rule 34 what? Spice Girls. 
Rule 34 Herpes. I guess he was searching for Lacey Green. Rule 34 Sargon of Akkad, which we've already read out. He, he knows there's like a website uh, like specifically dedicated to Rule 34, right? Uh, no, don't tell him that or he'll never leave the house. <laughs> <laughs> Next time we see him on stream, one of his arms is massive compared to the other. But what do you think about that, Jim, that uh, he was looking for Rule 34? I, I don't Point fucking know, Ralph. I don't know what's with all these guys wanting outlines. It seems to be a common <laughs> fucking thread he's lately. He's, he's, he's fapping with one arm, pushing boulders with the but other. But it, it is disturbing, though, right? I mean, it, we've seen it with him. We've seen it with, uh, of course, King of Pole, and just... I don't know. I hate to just. Ralph, is this? It seems is like this they're a, all hot for you, right? I mean, I don't, I don't know. It's, Ralph, it's Ralph is this a little bit of uh, a little bit of jealousy? I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. I mean, I, I, I thought... didn't see your name in that search result. Is no, that what you... it's about? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know. I don't know. He, he plans to just keep on keeping on. And you know, I was telling somebody earlier, I don't think we're going to know like the full damage of it until like maybe like three months from now. <laughs> I yeah, mean, no, you're you're probably right. I mean, it'll take a few months to really see how it plays out, but it's not yeah. looking good. I mean, I know subs aren't uh, necessarily the best indicator, but they are a good, a, a good, uh, loose gauge for figuring out the direction his channel's headed. And I know that because he wrote his little book, and he's so tied into analytics, uh, this is probably like the the worst nightmare scenario for him. And it just kept building momentum. There was a stream that fucked him, and then uh, Comic Books Pro Secrets put his video out. Ethan put his video out. Um, that really made it even worse. Uh, mm -hmm. And then my video dropped, and it just kind of keeps growing and growing and growing. And all these videos are coming out from different people, the quartering and all, you know, like smaller YouTubers, and more people are kind of becoming aware of it. Yeah. And, uh, you know, yeah, it's just for a guy that talks about how this is his career, you know, like he makes his money on YouTube to go out of his way to try to fuck other people that have that same viewpoint, uh, makes him look really shitty. Yeah, I just think like this temporary, like he's got like a temporary boost in views because of like Streisand effect. But I but think definitely in a few months, when with him shit and, and dies leave. down. That that might go away. I mean, they're viewing it just to fuck with him. <laughs> yeah, nice yeah. Um, Did he had like three thousand thumbs down on, so on one of his recent. Videos. That was on. That was actually unreal tragic uh, but yeah no tragic we'll, we'll <laughs> did, you, did you see the new uh uh dummy I, I don't know maybe you mentioned this earlier yes, uh dummy pesos video yeah yeah talking about how he, he uh got yeah. flagged again by the way we, we talked to dummy pesos earlier originally i wanted to have him on this program but he said he had to work uh really early in the morning so he wasn't able to come on um but yeah i did talk to him i did see his original video i guess it was a yesterday or day before uh, and he had that clip uh they told me in chat earlier, but I forgot the name of the program where it looks like somebody's shitting in their mouth, but it's actually Candy versus Spenny. Yes, yes. I, I guarantee you, uh, Matt's excuse for that will be, oh, I flagged him last week before the stream where I totally prostrated myself. You so know. Let, let me ask Jim this. Do, do you still think he's the one that flagged down our stream? Yeah, no, I'm 100% on that. Like, I, I told you when I came into the stream, I was 100% on him flagging your stream down, flagging other people down, uh, having Google alerts set up, always having a convenient excuse. And two of those, you know, panned out. Uh, he admitted Google alerts were, were queued up. He also admitted that he flagged, you know, we found out later on that he flagged a bunch of people down. He took 15 to 20 minutes to show us shit. I know you can go in with Inspect Element. Yep. We should have asked him to refresh the fucking page. Uh, but I, you know, it was so heated. Well, moment. it's heated the moment. Saying. Also, what we should ask him is show your other accounts because he has a couple other YouTube accounts that has, you know, several subscribers, um, and especially the three book theater, or whatever the fuck the name of that one is, would have been good to see what he had reported on. He, that. You know, and the, the fucked up thing is, I don't think anybody thought he was the one doing it. I remember when Worski got nailed. I remember when Failure got uh, nailed and Tonka got nailed. Um, everybody was like, oh, who's doing this? They all had their theories, but I don't ever remember his name getting brought up. So he must have thought he was really slick about it. He always appear, He always tries to appear really aloof and above the situation. Like, he doesn't know what's going on. And, oh, you, oh, I don't know who you are. He's to his child. Yeah. I'm yeah, not interested. I don't have time for this, but he really does. So I let mean, me also ask you this, um, Jim. Do you think, you know, there's, you know, people tweeting at me and they say, well, you don't know that uh, Money Matt flag down Dame Pesos again. Surely to God, surely to God, he, he wouldn't be flagging people after this. Um, do, you, do you think it's fair to attribute uh, the flags to him? Me personally, I think he's given up all benefit of the doubt. Well, where's but, that comment coming from? I mean, is that somebody saying, oh, he couldn't be dumb enough to do it again? Well, you, well, you would have said two days ago he couldn't be dumb enough to go on a stream and expose himself either, right? But fuck, <laughs> look where we are. 
Yeah, I don't know. I I just think he's he's kind of uh you know forfeited <laughs> all benefit of the doubt. I mean, do we have direct evidence? No. Well, and, and that's no, the but... thing that's going to stay with him. I mean, even if some miracle happens. Uh, even if tomorrow PewDiePie is like my favorite YouTubers, Monday, Matt, everybody subscribe. <laughs> um, the doubt in people's mind will never go away. He'll always be known as that dude. When he gets angry, he will fuck with your channel. And anytime somebody's channel gets fucked with, everybody's going to say, oh, it's Monday, Matt. Um, also, I, I saw that you start out your video with the uh, sex for favors. I mean, it's, it's the same part from the uh, Five Guys video, basically. The conspiracy, yeah. the the famous. I mean, I, I don't oh. even know how many hits that had before you you got rid of your channel, but I think it had over a million views. Or am I it, it had less than cats playing the piano, Ralph. But the the point of it the had a million views, though, right? Am, <laughs> the, am the, I the wrong? Point, the, the point of the video. It had a lot. Just just, just admit, for... stop stop being you know bashful. I mean, it had a lot of views, right? It had a million. I'm no, this sure. isn't me being modest or uh, you know uh, <laughs> any of that kind of shit. It, it's, in the reality of YouTube, yeah. It, it well, had, I mean, it of, in all uh, time clicks, YouTube, but, of course, but it but got a lot of play, right? playing musical instruments blow it out of the water. <laughs> Let's be honest. It had a lot of play, though, right? Yeah, but it, the thing of it is, though, it, it's just weird comparing and contrasting. Like, here's this guy that got his start because Zoe Quinn fucked with him, and everything he said about her and everything he built himself up around, he ended up the same exact shit. He was doing the same exact shit. I mean, Dame Pesos is in a huge channel. And I know we didn't really address Godwinson, but not only was his shit pulled down repeatedly, he's yeah. fucking gone. He can't keep a fucking account open. It's every like time poetry. He... It rhymes. Yeah, every time <laughs> he opens a fucking account, it, it gets taken down. So hey, these aren't huge people. These aren't people that have any recourse where they're like, I've got 250,000. I've got a million subscribers. You can't fuck with me. These are just dudes that put out fucking videos. They've got, you know, a couple hundred to 10,000 subs. Here comes Monday Matt with his 160,000 subs. And his connections at the company, yep. and uh, just fucking blows him out of the water. Well, we talked about this. Um, I, I think you talked about it. others. I mean, his, you know, a report from a guy with a verified check mark versus just some regular listener. It's worth, you know, twenty to one hundred times. Oh, he more. he was so full of shit with that. Oh, I don't know that there's any special features. Don't they send you a fucking email that says, "Hey, so and so is going to be your personal contact. You can message them." Any I mean, you got time. the same email, right? I mean, let's. Yeah, that, that's another thing. He didn't even have to technically report them. He could have just sent an email to whoever the guy is over there at YouTube he's in contact with. So I wanted to throw in, uh, I, I didn't see if you covered it in your video, Jim, but harmful opinions. He also has a bit of a vendetta against harmful opinions because of the candid stuff. And I'm not sure if any of you guys had known about this, but he had a an IRL streaming channel that went up. It was very family friendly, but wouldn't you know it? It got three flags like real quick back to back and his channel got shut down again. Uh, uh, I fucking loved Harmful Opinions uh, streaming channel when he started doing the IRL stuff when he was walking around a mall, right? There's this one video he does where he's walking around a mall and security walks up to him. And they're like, you can't film here, sir. And he says, oh, I'm sorry. I'm ordered by the government to do it because I'm a child sex predator. <laughs> and the security, yes, the, security guard's like, wait, the security guard's like, what? And he goes, I molest children, and I'm ordered by the court to always film where I am. <laughs> no, he's like a natural. He's probably the best IRL streamer I've seen. Like, he's quick with his responses. I, it, I was really disappointed to see him get shut down like that. And now with these new revelations, I just... My imagination just goes wild. I can't help but think that Monday and Matt might have had a hand in that too. No, yeah, no. I, I watched his stuff on Twitch. I liked his stuff on Twitch. I mean, he had a he had like uh, some you know big names following him. I mean, Notch would show up all the time and watch his shit. Um, and yeah, yeah, his channel just he got fucked with on there. He got fucked with on YouTube. He got fucked with on Twitter and every other place that you can imagine. Uh, and his his IRL stuff was funny. The shitty yeah. thing is, like, he presents himself as this, like, YouTube community later. And, like, he has these people that look up to him when he goes to these conventions and whatever. And they're like, oh, how can we have a big YouTube channel? But little do they know, like, he smashes people like them. You know, people is junior. People with, you know, maybe a couple hundred subs or whatever. You know, there's no, they don't stand a chance because of uh, people like him throwing their weight around. Yeah, and then people in the chat are asking for the the video. I don't know if the VOD is uh, is what? still around somewhere. I know I, I had that clipped. Uh, it's on my Twitter somewhere. I'll I'll try to find it and then I'll retweet By it. By the later. way, um, I see Andy Worski in the chat. He says, "Just saying hi now." Back into hiding. I was about to I was about to send him the link. Uh, okay, <laughs> I understand. 
He doesn't want Matt to catch him. I don't blame him. I, <laughs> I, 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 I was just no, about to say he's a link. Quite uh, interesting. You know, um, yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Quinn yeah, go ahead, Zanath. Didn't, uh, you know, Are you underneath him. a pillow? Shit. His phone's got really bad reception. I think what I'm he was just, trying I'm to say is that he doesn't think him. He doesn't okay. think that Zoe Quinn was the one that uh, yeah. flagged Monday in Matt's videos. He's talking on a flip phone. Smart man. <laughs> <laughs> no. the, connect, the connection in my uh, the place I'm in is pretty bad, but I actually DM'd Zoe Quinn, by the way. What? I did. Wait, I asked her if she, she flagged Monday Matt. Did she answer? Uh, not yet, but I'm gonna oh, I'm gonna wow. ask her again. Imagine, just imagine this for a second. Now I know this is fantasy land, but imagine that we get Zoe Quinn here on the kill stream. Yeah, just get her on here, Zane. Just to rip. You know what? Get I've written. Here. I've literally probably written more negative things about Zoe Quinn than anybody breathing on the you know on this planet. But just imagine she makes an exception just to come on here and shit on Monday, Matt. Just tell her that. Uh... We don't have five guys here. We have six. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, no, I, I don't know what kind of meltdown you'd be facing, Ralph, if you got Dude. like Zoe Quinn, Anita, and Brianna oh my God. on stream to shit on Matt at one time. I don't know what would happen if that fucking came to bow. The yeah. internet would break. I would just say this publicly for the record. I would have her on to speak about it Dude, because it, that, that's like gamergate coming full circle yeah like that would be the end. <laughs> and that's what people had told me already it's like wow this is pretty much full circle uh, and it's august it doesn't even get more it's like fate you know i i don't actually think she would do it but um i, I would put all the criticisms all the shit talk to the side she should talk to me as well i would put it all to the side just to hear what she has to say about the video flagging and about Monday Matt, because even before this stuff happened with Monday Matt, there were people who said to me, you know, there's really, there's really no evidence that Zoe Quinn actually filed that, that DMCA and you can file DMCAs pretty much at will in somebody else's name and YouTube as cautious as they are, They'll just go ahead and take it down, and then you can challenge it. And if they don't sue you and provide YouTube proof, they'll put the video back up. You know what I mean? So it it, it doesn't necessarily have to have been her. Um, I, I'm very interested in this. I, I will just put can, that out there. Is this, like, plausible? Can we actually make this happen? I mean, I don't know. I, I tend to say no. There's no way that would happen. Ralph, I, I got a I got a feedback report here on, on my performance. Uh, this is from uh, shout out to Midnight in Exile. He says, every time someone interesting starts to say something interesting, uh, Wild Goose interrupts with something completely fucking boring. Someone tell him to shut the fuck up. Did he pay to co-host all no, fucking he night? He did not. <laughs> Wild Goose is my dude. I, I'll, I'll just have to put that out there. I, I paid 20 bucks. <laughs> ten dollars ten dollars that's what he paid uh ten on, on a serious back. note though that that go fund me with the journalist lie people die maga uh banner that was brilliant man keep up keep it up that was awesome i don't that know if you wild. saw that jim we talked about it on the show but the the whole he flew he flew it over a nascar race and i thought that was great um l let me let me read these uh i just sent andy andy wants on is that cool with you jim we'll, we'll probably go for another 15 20 minutes if that's okay yeah, I mean, if he wants to leave witness protection, but again, Matt might show up. So, <laughs> <laughs> all right, I sent him the link. Steph Ah uh, says Worski just tweeted about Jarbo. Yes, he did. We showed it. Thank you very much. I know that was probably about thirty minutes ago, but I appreciate it. Re Review Tech USA says good night, gentlemen. Keep up the good work. Um, I really do appreciate that because hey, that's almost... Re Review Tech USA. Didn't... Yeah, it's the real one. Wow. It's actually him. Okay. Yeah, it's actually him. Yeah. Um, as, isn't it as... funny though? That uh, Re Review Tech USA and Monday Matt, like Monday Matt is a discount Review Tech USA. Uh, <laughs> kind of ironic, I think. Uh, you know what? I, I'm not even going to say anything, you know, negative because even, look, the kill stream is kind of like an outlaw stream uh, here on YouTube, as we've seen. By the way, I still haven't gotten my reply, Jim, for the appeal. 
So I guess we'll see if it comes in tomorrow. I, I, I well, I, I, I got mine within an hour, and they're what, like, it, go, what, go fuck yourself. <laughs> go fuck yourself, Jim. <laughs> yeah, I haven't heard shit about it, so I'm, I, I don't know. I'm hopeful, but not not exactly expecting. SS says, Alu Al Akbar. Uh, Vegeter says, Matt returned to his regular video so soon because it helps him push out his old standby victimhood spin. If he gets mobbed while doing business as usual, then he can act like it's unwarranted. Um, all right. So uh, I sent out oh, Mr. Worski. How you doing, sir? Fuck. Yeah. <laughs> what up, guys? How you doing? It's been a while. It has been a while. Oh, wait, was that, was that a sound? I thought that was really him. No, that was, that was the sound. <laughs> <laughs> the first thing I said, oh, look, yeah, Worski's not dead. <laughs> not yet. <laughs> How you doing, Andy? Guy. I'm great. I'm fantastic. So what, what do you have to say about the whole Monday Matt thing? Uh, I mean, bes- I mean, what can we say besides he's a piece of shit? Are we surprised though? Not Are we really. actually surprised? I-, I swear, when I heard that clip, I'm like, yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> like, well, yeah, when of- you think about it, Andy, right? Because you're, you're, um, you know, you, you've you've got management and stuff like that. Your your channel has a little bit of protection, so it actually mm-hmm. makes sense that it would have been Matt that would have fucked you because with his uh, verified partner status, he'd have more reach to fuck with a channel that was of similar standing than just somebody else flagging it at random. Yeah, I think what he did was obviously he was pissed off about those uh, streams we were doing, making fun of him. So he definitely went back and was flagging my Francesca Ramsey videos. Because in those ones, I'm fucking really mean. Like I say horrific things in there. So it'd be easier for them to be like, all right, yeah, this is, you know, Andy attacking someone uh, verbally. So he definitely went back and he must have struck all my old, old videos where I was a, lo- a bit harsher. And he got uh, that one video, whatever it was, that Francesca Ramsey video. And obviously within three days, it was removed because I appealed it with my agent. But uh, yeah, he fucking got me. How does he involve himself in all this drama? Like he makes videos about cats getting stuck in a tree. Like I don't understand why he does this to himself. Yeah, well, he also, his excuse was, well, you know, Dave Collin made a video, you know, calling me a pedophile, a pedophile advocate. Well, Dave Cullen has more subscribers than him. So obviously he's trying to struck down Dave Cullen as well. He definitely struck down you, Ralph, and who who else knows? Because he had, what, 10 minutes to retract yeah. videos? Well, more, actually. Yeah, it was 10 to 20 minutes. He had yeah, to, and I, yeah. I swear, if you really, like, uh, I hear it, you hear his keyboard, like, or his mouse. He's like, he's like, yeah, no, hang on. <laughs> hang on. I'm just reading the article. I'm just reading the article. Oh, you know what I wish you guys did? Like I was like uh, thinking of it. If you had told him to screen share and then quote unquote read this article, so he had like so he would have to screen share and click that link, and then you see immediately. Oh, I wish. Obviously, it's all hindsight, but he's fucked. Well, now, whatever. You know, looking back, there, there's a lot I wish I could have done, but you know, I was should have screen shared his Rule Thirty Four folder. <laughs> 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 Well, you, you know, the fucked up thing is somebody sent me a screen cap on Twitter where they, they were looking at his report page and shit, um, and they measured the gaps between each report, and there were, like, a couple of them where they're like, you can see somebody went in here and fucked with something because the spacing is off. That's why I think he did something with Inspect Element, because they're, uh, yes. they're, they're not evenly spaced like they should be. Uh, yeah, you can take it down, like, three seconds. I like how he kept, you know, me, Tonka, and failure. <laughs> like, he's like, like, fuck them. Like, 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 he wanted to block you, Ralph, for sure. Yeah. Fucking, he wanted to block anyone as- associated to you guys. Medica, he probably like flagged you a few times when you made fun of him. I think he did, right? Uh, no, I, I, yeah, I had a Monday Matt video up called Turn That Pesky Thing Off that was up yeah. for years. Uh, but right around the time that he got his, I, I, I can. Does anybody remember when he got verified or he got his check mark and he got, mm. uh, you know, established as uh, one of the YouTube chosen? I want to say 2015, but I couldn't. I couldn't. Put the, it it just it was it was really weird because it seemed once he started to have a little bit of clout, that's when it got hit. That video was. There's nothing that violates anything. It's just like what happened to Comic Book Pro's uh, secret. It, it got age restricted, and all it is is saying turn off that pesky ad block. He he's a piece of shit. Like this is like like some people's fucking jobs. I swear to God, if I had lost my fucking yeah. ad <laughs> if I had lost my fucking job, like because of him, 
And I found out later, oh, like when he was like, you know, I've been in a bad place. I was thinking of killing myself. I'm like, I wish you fucking did. Sorry, sorry, that's a bit too far. No, of course, <laughs> satirical program. Don't, don't. Boo hoo, yeah. man! Like, obviously, <laughs> like you all know, like I've, I've been like, like MIA for a while because I'm working on on two uh, big things on the side here that I'm not going to reveal. But so I've been just trying to like make, uh, you know, re fucking, you know, boot myself, uh, my creativity, right? So I, that's why I've been MIA. Right, but like obviously near the end there, like I got got fucking depressed. I didn't know what I was fucking doing on YouTube. I had to fucking you know step away and figure shit out. And I'm fucking really proud of what I have. I have on um I'm in the works right now. I didn't go and go. I'm gonna fucking flag JF. Or I'm gonna flag everyone who's making fun of me. I'm gonna flag. You fucking take it like you're like be a fucking man about it. Jesus Christ! I, you know, yeah, I got I fucking went. You, you, you let your nipples on fire. I know. I did a hat. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking I fucking went through terrible shit, terrible shit, and now I'm fucking really fucking happy what I've been working on. Finally, I'm not being a fucking little bitch about it. And fucking oh my god. God, do you think do you think I owe JF an apology? You remember when I was coming down on him for the uh, the censorship thing, uh, Ralph? I think it was on your stream. I do, yeah, yeah, yeah. And he was like, "Well," and he explained this on a couple of his streams. He's like, "Well, there's there's a group dedicated to to, to fucking with uh, polo- you know political commentators of my kind, and I've got to be really cautious." Do you think he fucking meant Matt? Like, do you well, think that he got the he got the group wrong, and it was Matt that he was uh, he was worried about that was out in the shadows <laughs> fucking with everyone? Yeah, I. <laughs> I think so. Honestly, I don't even know what like after all the fucking lies, the the you know the cape of um, whatever Matt was capable of. He has four fucking different channels that he has the ability to fucking strike with, and then his channel being verified, you know, fucking he can definitely strike down anyone, anyone around our group or like the live shows or any. We all got strikes every now and then. And like that's fucked. And when I really think about it, it was probably Matt. Matt deserves a fucking dick slap. What a fucking piece of shit. This is not like like how people were in drama before. Like, oh, this guy did this, this, and we're, we're all fighting each other and shit. This is like this guy tried removing our jobs. Well, it's pathetic for a couple reasons. First off, it's dumb and short sighted. Um. No, I got into it with Sargon a month or so ago. I, the only thing I thought was, wow, that's great. A guy with fucking 800,000 subs, you know, and on his backup channel, he put up a video with whatever subs he has, two or 300,000. I just thought that's great. I mean, I wasn't mad about it. You know, some of the things he said, you know, I said, well, that's bullshit, whatever. That's actually great publicity. Why are you even complaining? Why Why are you trying to get this stuff taken down? Are you that stupid? I mean, it's actually... Some of the people watching that show might even know not know who the fuck you are. I mean, this is this is. Hey, a hey net Ralph, do you think uh, you think this is going to become like? Do you think you might have started like a, a trend, a new game where people are going to wait for streamers uh-huh. to go live and then send a Bitly link or something disguising the report history thing, so they open up live on stream not knowing what it is, and we see what they've been doing. <laughs> you know what? That, that, a couple of people mentioned that to me that we kind of, I mean, accidentally, like we always do <laughs> here on the kill stream, uh, might have started a trend. To where, you know what, show your report history or, you know, unwittingly show your report history. Yeah, because uh, streamers can be kind of fucking stupid. I, I remember one guy, uh, somebody was breaking into his Google account. You know how they send like the phone verification thing? Yeah, yeah. And fish- he, he got, yeah, he got the text and he read it out loud because he didn't know what it was. <laughs> fucking people went right into his account. And let me ask you for the record, Jim, and they say, you know, I'm, I'm a cuck for you. I'm, I never ask anything tough. Have you ever reported a video on YouTube? Uh, I think I've reported. What have I reported? I've reported. Uh, you know when you go to watch uh, like a TV show that gets put up on YouTube, uh, and then you go, you click the video. It's like 50 minutes, and all it is is a link to some shitty. <laughs> yeah, fucking, it's not the actual. I show. fucking hate that shit. It's like a malware site that has nothing to do with the fucking show you watch, <laughs> and it's one account that'll put like a thousand of those videos yeah. up to fuck the results. That's yeah. probably what I reported. Um, I think that's about it, man. I. Like I said, I when I watch YouTube and stuff, I stay away from politics and a lot of the the shit that uh, is kind of uh, around our group. And I just watch fucking video game stuff, comic book shit, and uh, movie reviews. 
Uh, I've only reported fucking things that are like, you know, really excessively sexual that you're like, all right, this shouldn't be on YouTube or like really violent. See, I download those, the excessive. It's shit that was around the, uh, you know, when the whole Elsa gate shit was happening, there was like fucking disgusting shit that I was like, all right, this is. Are you talking about the, was that the Spider-Man videos where they shove syringes in each other's asses and shit? Like the really weird stuff. Yeah, there was this one channel. I, I don't think people caught it. Like, it wasn't on, on the Philly D videos or anything. It was, like, like legitimately, like, kids were watching this shit. And uh, the girl in the Elsa costume was actually, like, pissing on the fucking Spider-Man guy. I'm like, how did this get... Pa-? Like, all the other stuff is just, okay, this is, like, excessive, but whatever. It's not too bad. But this one, I was like, this is straight up people pissing on each other's faces. Like, IRL. I'm like, okay, this is fucked up. So it was just those ones. As for people who made fun of me and stuff, no, never. I think I'm real or any of the people who've made the videos. What was, it, what, what was that one video that he flagged down, uh, Ralph? The, uh, it wasn't by uh, Dami Pesos. It was like sandwiched, or sandwiched in between them. I think it was like one of the InfoWars guys or he has like that in his description. It was uh, Monday and Matt is a crybaby bitch or something like that. Yeah, I can't remember the actual channel, but yeah, I know what you're talking. I mean, look. There was a whole. I, honestly, I do feel bad because I, I've seen some comments and they said, "Ralph." First off, Ralph was out of it uh, on on that stream. By that point, but earlier in the stream, I was perfectly fine. Uh, but by that point, it was more up to everybody else. Um, so I wasn't really able to capitalize on some of the stuff. Um, as far as so, what we should have done is said. First off, the main thing was log into your other accounts and show what you've flagged on those other accounts, or, or refresh the page, or and I didn't even notice this live. He has U Block Origin, which I also have. Turn that shit off. You know what I mean? Um, there was a lot of things we could have done once we had him there. But I mean, look, <laughs> to be honest, just what was revealed in and of itself, I think, was pretty, pretty damning, right? I mean, um, it could have been more thorough, yeah, but I, I don't know. Yo, 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 honestly, just assume he did the worst. I'm literally like everything that that happened and that you're all accusing him of, he did 100 fucking percent. Well, the thing about it is, and I've talked about this on the show before, and I, you know, I hate to whatever take over, even though it's my show, but, um, you know, I gave him the benefit of the doubt. We had Dame Pesos on here, I guess it was May or June. And he was saying, Monday, Matt, flag me 100%. You know, I know this for a fact. And I even said on that show, I said, look, you know, I- I'm not going to say that personally. I don't have the, you know, 100% evidence. I know Matt's done some things, but I'm just not willing to say that. I guess I was just being a faggot, to be honest with you, uh, looking back. But uh, once this stuff came out, I mean, I don't know. It- it's-, it's pathetic. When, when I think of... You know, I'm I'm only a, a you know a minor player compared to you, Worski and 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 uh, Medicare. Um, but just think of all the <laughs> negative videos or comments that that have been made about you guys. Um, and and I I don't think you would say let me go flag this video down. Let let me take this creator down. Over no, you, usually thing. usually I want that shit up. I mean, like when yeah. I was doing the the Deviants videos. Uh, what the fuck was the doodle diapers or whatever the fuck it was. Like, uh, they had a video up um, springing the fuck out because I was making fun of fur fags. And, you know, somebody went in and flagged it and got it age restricted. I, they could have got it fucking taken down. But the thing that is that fucks me over because if I'm going to use it in a video and there's no fucking copies of it, I, I, it's gone. I can't fucking find it. I had that happen uh, with – I can't even remember what it was. This was like years and years and years ago. I had a really great idea for a video and there were some, you know, like really pissed off people with some videos up. And a bunch of fucking assholes went and flagged them all, so they're fucking gone. You can't get them back. Well, first off, it's it's funny. It's funny to see these people get mad over something you said. I mean, I, I always get a kick out of it. Oh, you want to, you know, bring up whatever over some article that I wrote or some video that or stream that I did. I, I get a kick out of that. I guess maybe, you know, not like Monday Matt, I'm not jacking off over it, but it's close, you know. I, I do get a thrill uh, over seeing people talk shit. And so why would I want to take that down? That makes no sense. Oh, yeah, yeah. The person in the chat got it. Uh, it was that fucking crazy Canadian bitch. 
uh, the one that would make her, uh, she made her son film her every day taking baths and doing yoga. It was some really fucking weird yeah. shit. Uh, and people flagged it down, so I could never get the fucking video. I, like, all I had left was her yelling at her mother dying in the hospital, which is something in itself. But... <laughs> I would say, yeah. Right, By but the like the, the one where she was like in the bathtub and like a really skimpy bathing suit, and she kept saying, my baby boy, my little prince, film mommy. Like, really creepy, fucked up shit. That, that's gone forever. By the way, here's a video that uh, Suit Yourself sent me, and it's oh from, no, it's from the uh, report page basically, and it shows how easy it is to hide elements from the report page. Um, and it's it's not hard at all. By the way, I don't even think he's using uBlock Element. I think he's just using Firefox. I'm not sure. Um, but it, it is not hard at all. And you saw how much time he had. That it, it is not a stretch to think that he hid those reports, um, because I, I guess you know part of him might have thought, um, you know they they only care about the kill stream or whatever, and I'll hide those and I'll be able to, you know, spin the others. Um, it, it was just the silence was deafening uh, when 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 it came to the yeah. Go ahead. What was the most recent uh, flagged video? Like what was? Like, um, I'll have to go back and look at the list. Yeah. Um, I think the top of the list was Dame Pesos. Um, and when yeah, was that? Yeah. When was that? Like a few months ago, weeks ago? So like, if you look weeks, at the list, weeks. Yeah. yeah, I was going to say, it was weeks, but there were multiple Dame Pesos. <laughs> like, he hit like, every video everything. the guy had, basically. Every yeah, fucking exactly. one. Yeah. yeah, pretty much the whole list. Yeah, so my and, point is, is like, because uh, then after that, it was, it was me and then Kumite, uh, but like, like you know, you know, with his Google, uh, like him being on the alert or whatever, his name being on the alerts, every fucking day he's flagging shit. So he must have got those first two weeks gone, right? Kept the fucking up, uh, uh, Dami pesos, erased whatever in between, kept the Kumite and the wars here because we're such assholes to him that it doesn't matter, right? Well, he only um, had a certain amount of time, too, right? So Exactly. Yeah. So he's trying yeah. to figure shit out. He, like, you know, like fucking, what was it, like 13, 14 minutes. You could fucking erase a lot of shit. Warsaw it. Like, you talked to me and said, hey, that, Warsaw I were, like, dude, When I was listening to that clip, because I haven't been on YouTube in one month, like not watched <laughs> one video, not done anything. And then I jump back, I'm, I'm on to YouTube for a second, and that's the first thing I saw. I'm just like literally screaming at the scream uh like, fucking scream share actually, you piece of shit actually i'm watching the screen where is my apology by the way cunt faggot where is my fucking apology no for real oh i, I owe failure and, and tom no, and Andy an apology that. dude that's what i don't get like he, he's talking about how oh i'm gonna go to counseling next week but it, like, he hasn't reached out to anybody he blocked what uh, tonka saw from his discord he hasn't wait, said wait, anything wait, to these by the way chat hold on this can't be true pile of fucking human this shit. cannot be true no his channel's uh, still up if that's what you're looking at i was gonna say that can't yeah. be true <clears throat> no, i'm looking at it right he, now he delete his channel but there's just no way i, I don't fake news <laughs> I, I can't get there um but i do remember even in my in my state i'm looking through the list and i see, i'm like there's andy worski what are, what are you talking about uh and that was a guy that you had talked to you know in private i i, I guess just just your thoughts on on that type well, of no no I'll, I'll no I'll tell you what happened. So I was making fun. I was there during. Remember what, uh, when Johnny Fox? Yes. I mean, on. I don't remember because I wasn't here, but I caught up on it later. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and like the Johnny Fox called him like a mundane fag and all this bullshit. Right. It was, it was fucking hilarious. <laughs> all I did was laugh, and then I I made fun of him uh, crying at the silver play button. Nothing serious, just like, hey, you're being kind of a fag right now. It's pretty funny, and I'm gonna make fun of it. Ha ha. That's all he's all I did. So then he spurgs out on me or whatever. I guess he tries flagging me. And then I go, hey, look. Like I message him, like, look, I, I was just fucking around, like, chill out. So let's just talk about it. He goes, fine, we could talk about it. Now on Kumite, I was like, Oh, I spoke to Matt. He said he wants to talk about it. And then privately, he's like, You piece of fucking shit. Why would you bring it up? And he went off on me, and I'm like, I just told people you were going to talk to me. He he is just a fuck. He definitely has mental issues. 
The well, just think of all the people. Thought. I mean, look, that have talked shit about you. Let's just be honest. I mean, you never thought. Oh about... yeah, near the end, especially. And and look, I was gonna say too. When I was watching a few people's videos on me and stuff, I'm like, hey, look, I know they're being dicks, but there is some criticism in here that I have to take. I sort of fucking just lost my my groove, and I wasn't being creative anymore. When I was doing my live shows, my energy wasn't there. Wow. And since I've been gone, I actually took that criticism. And I fucking, the new shit I have coming out, completely different, completely up my alley. I'm happier and fucking, I'm excited to fucking pump it out. So I took the criticism. Hey, if Matt, if people think you're being a fag and you stink, take that criticism. <laughs> fucking, fucking James also was like, hey man, how about you like, you know, be controversial and don't be mundane. How about instead of flagging and crying about it and being like, oh, how about you fucking just go, you know what? Maybe I'll take this or not take it. He is... The fucking I mean, Zoe Quinn. Let me say this. To be quite honest with you, I love seeing positive comments. They always make me, you know, whatever, feel good. But the negative comments are what actually help you. You know what I mean? You, you read that. You're like, oh, okay, I need to uh, fix the audio. Hopefully, by the way, the audio is a little better tonight. Um, or I need to do this or don't have this person on. Or, wow, you really fucked up there, Ralph. The show was going great. and You did this. You know, maybe maybe rethink it, or maybe just say you're a fucking piece of shit and you fucked up the show. I mean, honestly, those comments help me more than even the pot. Don't get me wrong; I love the positive ones, but I'm just being honest. Um, yeah, all yeah. right, yeah, near, uh, near the end, just sorry to interrupt, but uh, near the no, end, fine. like people are just like, "Yo, man!" Like even like people who were like, you know, like viewers of mine for a while, they're like, "Hey, man!" Like you don't seem happy. Your energy's low. You're not like performing. Like, yeah. I had to take a fucking well, like, break and figure shit out. And I'm like, you know what? Like, like, fucking stop with this ego, like ego bull fucking shit. This is not my fucking. This is not my like area of 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 creativity of how to how to like. So I I just took everything and then fucking stepped away. And it's been incredible. Like I've just been so fucking happy and the shit I have coming. And also I was asking too much, like. So what do you guys want to see? You yeah. asking the audience and shit. Now it's just like, what do I want to make that pe I think people will like? That you will enjoy. I mean, it's it's mostly. I mean, and look, fucking, I have fun I'm with the fun. stream, mm -hmm. even on the slow nights. I have fun with the stream. Some nights I've come on here and I'm like, oh, this is not gonna be. Oh, uh, Ralph, it, lo it looks like uh, we might be fucked here, buddy. Oh, how so? Uh, Did... Somebody's telling me on Twitter that Monday Matt is posting confirmation pictures <laughs> in his Discord of the boulders to prove they're real. Wow. <laughs> oh, <laughs> We're busted. <laughs> oh, shit. Monday Matt. <laughs> yeah, I'm actually, I got a link to his, uh, I got a link to his Discord, so I'm just like in there right the fuck now. Are, those you, are, 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 you, are you seeing the rock pictures that he's apparently posting in there? What is he even going? Yeah, I was the one that actually posted it in our Discord earlier. <laughs> Hold on, let me go find, let me go upload it to uh Imger. You uh, were caught. You were caught, you fucking shit. Like like this is him like, okay, I was caught. I'm sorry, it was in a bad space. I have to apologize two days later. <laughs> Here are the boulders I was collecting. So let me ask you. You're Andy. fucking nine months old to collect yeah, a real Andy, egg in everybody's face now. And we haven't heard from from you in a while. What do you think? By the way, I'm I'm not sure that there is an answer to this, but yeah. uh what do you think Matt could do to to recover or, or move past this? Fucking sign up for Uber and delete his YouTube account. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mean myself because I was coughing. <laughs> Yo, I, was, I was literally up with Chris and shit and we're working on our, our stuff and I'm just like, <laughs> like, sign up for Uber, faggot. Like I'm yelling at my phone. <laughs> 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 oh, I want to see these boulders. Hold on. You know, I was ready to... You know, wrap it up. But if we could actually get a shot of these boulders, yeah. I, I okay, I posted that. it in the side chat. Okay, Are you, in the side. Okay, um, okay, they can't see it. By the way, I took it. Off you you have to screen share it with the audience so they can see these amazing rocks that he collected <sighs> for eight hours. Wow, these look really big, Jim. Boulders. <sighs> boulders. Right, let me make sure I'm looking. Echo, okay. echo, echo. Holy shit, these are these are large. Well, you need to understand, Ralph, these are very expensive, uh, rare <laughs> river rocks, as he explained. I'm impressed that his wife's son was able to lift all of those. <laughs> wow, that is... Can you imagine? Okay, we've seen Matt's physique. Can you imagine him huffing and puffing, picking up rocks and running them back and forth <laughs> to his fucking Ford Taurus? Like, it, 
<laughs> you picture that in your head as he's what is he going to use these fucking uh, things for? They're sitting in the dirt. Well, so when he said it first off, you know, I've seen a lot of landscape setups, obviously. And I thought, oh, you know, maybe giving him the benefit of the doubt. Maybe he's, you know, setting up some rocks around his. He's you know, digging flower. a grave. <laughs> 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 but you know what I mean? Like you see, you see rocks like that. You're like, oh, okay, nice flower bed set up or whatever. But I'm just looking at this and it's just. It's just a pile of rocks. Like there's nothing, there's nothing going on here. He didn't even arrange them in in a aesthetic way. He just here's a big pile <laughs> of rocks. If that's his idea of a Zen garden, it's no wonder why he has mental problems. It does look like it belongs in the art of mu- the Museum of Art, though, doesn't it? Yeah. But wait, wait. But look, that it took him two days to post that. That means the past two days he's been collecting boulders to prove. <laughs> 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 he's, he's, he's probably stacked that up all weekend. <laughs> yeah, he's like, he's right now, like, okay, this will show him. Like, what, what if he made all that shit up and then he's like, oh fuck, where the fuck am I gonna find some boulders? <laughs> I don't even, man. I don't know. Uh, right. Ralph, <laughs> Ralph, your your chat's asking somebody to uh, reverse image search it to make sure this isn't another lie, oh, <laughs> and he didn't just oh, pull God, it off please. Google. Oh, Shutterstock. Absolutely alive. I'll do a Google reverse image search. I don't. I don't see any hits um, off that live, but uh, there's other reverse images. Uh, you know, searches that's been used. Uh, yeah, usually I just use uh, what is it, Ten Eye? Yeah. All right. Oh my god. I just use <laughs> Google itself, but uh, I'll try. Well, you have to have the original rock picture. You don't. You can't have this one from Imgur. It wouldn't work. They have a URL upload. And it, uh, it, uh, his kid's nine months old, right? Uh, yeah, I think so. So, so. so what do you do? Like, like leave the fucking. But can, know, like, can, can I say this, Andy, and anybody else listening? So, what you had a fucking kid? Why do I give a fuck about your fucking kid? I don't. I'm going to be dead honest. Anybody can have a fucking kid. The most retarded people on this planet have fucking children. You that think is, I wouldn't? You think I wouldn't punch a kid? No, well, I wouldn't punch a kid. Let, let's be honest, but but I drown his goldfish. <laughs> but no, seriously. Oh, I have a kid. So what? A lot of people have a fucking kid. What, does that is that supposed to make me sympathetic? Dude, he accidentally spilled his seed in some fat chick. Like it happens every day. No, nah, it wasn't an accident. He couldn't fuck anything else. Let's be honest, oh, he but. fucking no. Hang on, I don't give a fuck if you have a kid or anything. Like you, he understands how shitty it is to like. You know, have the apocalypse happen and lose money, have payments on your car or your house. Or you understand that? And he went after our jobs. And he still did it. Yeah, he he knew the deal. And he succeeded, too. There were two videos of the ones that he showed on that report history that were taken down. So who knows what they might be? But I recall the Kumite having to rotate to different channels because Mm -hmm. video got flagged. So I don't know. Yeah, I recall it, too. They went from Tonkas to Failures to Andes. I mean, that was, yeah. Um, I don't know. I just, the whole my kid thing, anybody can have a fucking kid. And by the way, we don't even know that that's your kid, but whatever. I won't go there. I'm just saying, big <sighs> fucking deal. Big fucking deal you had a kid. I don't and know how embarrassing fuck. is that going to be when his kid grows up and oh. sees a and, and video all, of his dad you know, crying? S- safe for posterity. I don't know. All right, I, I will, I, I realize we, we've, uh, Jim, you've been on here a lot the last three programs, so I just want to thank you for that. I know you'll probably call me a faggot, but... Uh... Yeah, probably. But I mean, I, <laughs> I, I like watching Dumpster Fires and uh, Matt's combustion has been entertaining. It has. So let me ask you before we before we let you go and before we uh, peacefully sunset the program, uh, where do you think it goes from here? Does it, does it spread from Matt? Um, first off, does it spread from Matt? Second off, is there any sort of redemption or recovery that Matt himself could do? Well, I don't think, I mean, I, I don't know if it can spread from Matt. Like, if, I, I think it'll probably be a game for some people to disguise the link and send it to streamers to get them caught off guard on stream showing the report history. Uh, that'll be funny. But, uh, you know, as for Matt, what the fuck he's going to do, he's going to lose a shit ton of subs. His views are going to diminish. People will always shit talk him in the comment section. And if what he said on the stream is true and it really does get to him, he's going to probably have a fucking breakdown online in the next month. Is it over for him? Yeah, no, I, I don't see him recovering. He should just fucking walk away and start a new channel doing something different. I thought I fucked up. 
<laughs> like, like I was like, ah, damn, you're the end of it pretty bad. Like that's it's pretty bad. You know, I'm gonna step away and and do some self reflection and work on some shit. But the thing about it is, Jeez. is I mean, Jim was saying that same thing three months ago. That I mean, you could see his channel. I mean, just look at his face. He put a clip from Wild Goose just splicing like the intro of his whatever I don't know last. 10, 20 videos, he's clearly unhappy doing what he's doing and his best thing would be to just exit out the Monday Matt thing, just do the the movie stuff and just, just move on first off he needs to do an apology of course, but um, I, I, don't, I don't really know I, I don't give a fuck about his content bug, man. Yeah, I don't give a fuck about his content, I mean he could do whatever he I wants, mean, I don't care I can he, needs see to, he needs to apologize to people and rectify or, like what he did with uh, Andy and uh, Tonka thought you and you know everybody else yeah. you wrong. Look, there's a lot of fat fucks. That <laughs> what what is. places he had mentally where he's posting rock <laughs> pictures? <laughs> like what the fuck is going on, right? Yeah. I but I, I, I like the proposal that. that he does a video and he he cries on it. Like I, I think that would <laughs> I think for a lot of people that would be uh, I think that would suffice. Oh, no, uh, you know, like he flagged more material, but yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Uh, yeah, he flagged the words like if you go on <clears throat> on his channel and try and write a comment with the word flagged, G G E D or flag, it's removed. He removed the word flagged and flag. Go oh, on. he's already he's he's already censoring shit. Okay. Any 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 form of the <laughs> word strike or flag cannot be commented on his video. Look, look. Some dude was testing it out and uh, and commenting, and he he. he yeah, he had to write flagged F L space G G space E D. <laughs> let me let me also ask you. I know we're I'm, I'm stretching it out here, but uh, is is there a possibility? I mean, he, he can't turn off comments, right? I mean, Jim, like he can't he can't do that, right? I mean, yeah, well, it would fuck with his metrics. Remember, I, this is the guy that's big into analytics and stuff. He about can't what do that, right? Yeah. Yeah, it would be like turning off ratings. I mean, it's gonna fuck with his like. Does he has advertisements right on his videos? Yeah, yeah he does. Yeah, so I, I don't think he can afford to. I don't think he can afford to turn Plus off comments just, and ratings. I mean, I know he's gone against everything else he said, but uh, as far as turning off comments, that would just be. I don't know. I, I heard somebody. I don't know if it was this show or or somewhere else. I was talking to people. I, I really don't think he can get away with <laughs> with turning off comments, but. Uh, I don't yeah, know. God, what a, what a weird three years it's been. I I remember when oh, uh, nice. when Jade drew the picture of Monday Mad oh, as uh God. as a, a baby eating shit from the ass of um, <laughs> Review Tech USA saying baby bird is hungry. Um, <laughs> oh, I actually posted that in the side chat. By it the way. all oh, goes it, back. Is yeah. it kind of surreal to you? Like it's surreal to me. I mean, I could only imagine, but. Well, no, I remember his fans got really angry. They're like, "What did Matt ever do to deserve that?" Well, here we are, faggots. <laughs> it took three years, but here we are. It's full circle, man. It always goes full circle. Oh my god, this picture. <laughs> <laughs> is that is that angry Joe? In the yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, that's too much. That's too much. <laughs> It's the fucking human centipede. That is Fuck. extra to that is the so uh, the uh, young folks lingo. Um, okay, gentlemen, if you have any final thoughts or questions, whatever, get them out. <laughs> we'll go ahead and sunset this thing. Um, Jim, thank you very much again for coming. Yeah, on. yeah. Th th thanks for having me on, guys. I'm By the way, I really, I really enjoyed your video. I really did. So. Yeah, I, I just tried to cover it as best I could and put as much shit in there as I could. But um, yeah, uh, have a good night. Have a good night, and uh, don't show that image on stream. <laughs> no, or, we won't. Or you, <laughs> I'm posting, I'm or posting it in the chat yeah. for people get they can go see it themselves. It's or, all or you will absolutely get flagged. <laughs> <laughs> all right, take it all easy. All right, man, you have a good one.